We don't want to remove the shower right now. Well, hey, this little booger right here is a lifesaver. I'm loving this thing. You don't see people building airplanes in their garages every day. That is freaking awesome. And this is a townhouse, and I've done plenty of jobs in this community, and I haven't had trouble until this one. And I don't think it's any coincidence that we've got this shower unit with this big gaping hole underneath to accommodate the drain line. And here's our the living area. Pretty cool, build an airplane. Uh, you'll see that every day. Your homeowners building airplanes in their townhouses. And here's the radon system, right? We ran this up uh, through this chase up into the attic. I've done a number of these and we've always come out sweet. This one hasn't been, well, you know, it's like little Sherlock Holmes actions, you know, just deduce. Well, you know, we seal these cracks, but there's this big gaping hole right here between the radon system and the rest of, you know, the living area. So it makes sense that we really put our best foot forward and try to get that sucker sealed up before doing anything drastic to the fan or putting the system somewhere else, which isn't much of an option in this community. I'll show you the view from the endoscope and show you how we're, we're sealing that. By the way, uh, you know, this is like my second or third attempt here. I did this one a while back. I just cut the hole around here today and um, I tried using my cell phone the first time to get expanding foam back in there. Well, it's just a, basically a big hole in the floor when they built the place to accommodate the drain, the plumbing for the drain line. At some point I was like, geez, I gotta up, up my game here. So well, I'm really happy with this thing. Okay, here we go. So we've got the depths tech hooked up to the phone. You can see everything you're doing. We're now underneath the shower and you can see what I got on the first attempt but all the stuff that I missed because I was not using this device, I was using a cell phone. And uh, it, so it's a dance when you do this because you don't want to get that goo all over the uh, your camera. So I, I was going to tape it right next to that pipe, but I decided to use it separately just in case I got into trouble and I could pull it away. And so it's pretty gratifying to see all that gravel I missed on the first run I'm getting it now, by golly. <laughs> and uh, it is a dance. Um, it's I, I edited a, so much of this out for you. Um, there's the tub drain right there. You can see that. And now I'm on the other side, on that other entrance. And I'm just picking up right where I left off. And making extra special sure I don't get any of that goop all over the, the camera. And we're going to go ahead and pull out now. All right, this little booger right here is a lifesaver. I'm loving this thing. This one's just been really aggravating to get at. And so what we've done is we've made an access panel here, an access panel over here in the other closet. And I've been trying to get expanding foam back there to fill up that area. And I think we've, I think we've been successful today. So what I've done is I took this uh, this flexible tubing here and attached it. You see what we did there? It just slips right over top of it. That's quarter inch flexible tubing. It just goes, slips right over top of whatever they give you for the great stuff expanding foam. Got a little piece of half inch PVC uh, to keep it rigid. Well, it's three quarter inch pecs to be specific. At any rate, um, it worked. Um, I've really worked hard to find uh, solutions on uh, YouTube. Um, I was about ready to get an actual, you know, great stuff pro gun, but uh, you know, it's not something I can re up at like Lowe's or Home Depot, it's something that uh, I would have to order in my neck of the woods. So I wanted to exhaust every means available to me to get that done back there. And I believe we got her done. We're going to retest and see if we can get this thing below four. It's been right at four, it's been aggravating as hell. <laughs> around here to this and you know the homeowner and I you know we're kind of at our wits end because we don't want to remove, remove the shower out. for crying out loud we're trying to do it as evasive as possible he's he's already popped off the baseboards for me I was able to cut that out as you can see so on these occasions um, when we need to go around showers and tub showers you know these access panels they sell these at Lowe's or Home Depot all day long and I always know that I want the 14 inch one with that spring loaded 
and here I got my level, my pencil, get my tape measure, measure it out, cut it with my little Solly thing, and uh, we're money every time. And so, um, so far, you know, when it's when everything goes your way, you just simply pop the panel back in. Voila, you know, no painting, no drywall. Um, it's been working great for me. Hopefully, it'll help you guys out there. Uh, we'll need to retest to see if we did any good. Uh, the manometer didn't really change, but that doesn't mean we didn't do any good down there. This radon game is a little strange. Um, if you need consistency and certainty at every turn, uh, filling that hole is a great place to start. We're in. I've been here like four times. Uh, if you want to geek out for just a second, because I know this video is going to help somebody out there. If it helps just one person, getting underneath this shower was super tough, right? And um, in the world of expanding foam, uh, to my knowledge, there's, there's like three basic kinds, right? You've got uh, the kind for window and doors, and then you've got the regular kind that says it expands to one inch. And then you've got this kind, the big gap filler up to three inch. This was successful through this ghetto apparatus that I set up. So I hope that helps you because I was like, well, it'll it probably work with that, but will it work with this? And yes, it did. And that just really might be clutch for somebody out there. Um, I did not bring this up. I found it on YouTube. Just want to give credit to Chris. I wish I could name the guy. But um, if I could, I would really love to thank him for this help save me right here otherwise i would have had to order some stuff and a very low cost investment to find out if a little piece of pipe and some hose would work out and it did anyway i hope the endoscope thing has been of help to you i should have got one of those years ago but it's made by depths tech and um man this really saved my bacon Hey, if you found this video helpful, by all means, smash that like button and consider subscribing. I drop lots of videos in the Radon community. Doesn't cost you a dime. It means the world to me. See you in the next one. Take care.